Infrastructure as code is becoming more and more important in the DevOps context. Today I have a short intro for you about AAC, so you can understand why more and more companies and developers are looking into it. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in each episode I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service and yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. I want to spend a moment just thanking the amazing people who support this channel on Patreon and especially these three people over here that become patrons in the last couple of months. If you want to be like them and if you want to have access to exclusive videos, Q&A, live stream and more and you want to support the channel, just check the link to Patreon in the description below. Today we talk about infrastructure as code, IAC, and its benefits. I will not go into any specific implementation like tools or languages in this video because it's more an introduction to the topic, but let me know in the comment section below if you're interested in this topic and I may consider making a video or even a series of videos about specific implementations for IAC. Again, let me know in the comment section below. But let's start the clock and get into it. So first thing first, what is IAC? Infrastructure as Code, or IAC, is the management of infrastructure like networks, virtual machines, load balancers, and so on and so forth, in a descriptive model, using the same versioning as a DevOps team uses for source control. Like when you compile the same code over and over again, you get the same set of binaries out of it, for infrastructure and model, infrastructure and model. An infrastructure as Code model generates the same environments every time it's applied. And thanks to this, it solves the problem of the environment drift. Without AAC, in fact, teams must maintain the settings of individual deployment environments. Over time, each environment ends up having a unique configuration that cannot be reproduced automatically. Inconsistency among environments can cause issues during deployments, and administration and maintenance of infrastructure involves manual processes which are hard to track and contributes to errors. With IAC, instead, Teams make changes to the environment description and version the configuration model, which is typically in well-documented code formats. The release pipeline then executes the model to configure the target environment. If the team needs to make any change, they will edit the source, not the target environment. And additionally, infrastructure as code allows teams to test their application in production-like environments very early in the development cycle. These teams expect to be able to provision multiple test environments quickly, efficiently, and on demand, and ISC does that for them. And infrastructure express as code can also be tested and verified before deployment to avoid any additional error. At the same time, the cloud can dynamically provision and tear down environments based on IAC definitions. Teams who implement IAC can deliver stable environments rapidly and at scale. They avoid manual configuration of environments and enforce consistency by representing the desired state of their environments via code. Thanks to infrastructure as code, DevOps teams can work together using a unified set of practices and tools to deliver applications and they are supporting infrastructure rapidly, reliably, and at scale. So these are the reasons why IAC is a key DevOps practice and is often used in conjunction with continuous delivery. And we are done, let's stop the clock. Today I've definitely stayed within the three minutes limits. We should now have a clearer understanding of what infrastructure as code is and the benefit it brings. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions about IAC in general. And as I mentioned before, if you want me to create some video on some specific IAC implementation, framework, languages, or tools. Also, you may wanna check this video over here in which I go through the benefits of DevOps. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave. <laughs>